So let's continue on solving logarithmic equations. And this time, I've got three logarithm terms, okay, and a number. So this is a mixed equation. I'm probably not going to be able to use a logarithmic equality on it because of this 10 sitting here. So even if I did get a log on both sides, I still have that 10 messing us up. So let's try to get logarithms just on one side. I'm going to try to condense logarithms using different properties. And we'll say that equals a number, and then switch it to an exponential. So going through this, um, I'm not moving the 10 for a while. We're just going to keep that where it is. And I know I want all the logs on one side. So let's just go ahead and move them over. I've got negative log 4x right here, um, not equals. And we have plus logarithm of 16 and minus logarithm of 2. Well, remember the basic property of logs called the, uh, the product rule. The product rule and the quotient rule. Okay, we're going to use these to rewrite uh, this equation. Product rule and the quotient rule. And what these things say uh, is basically this. If you have the log of x times y, that's equal to the log of x plus the log of y. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, I'm going to say 10 equals. And now let's take these things in turn. This term right here, negative log of 4x. Well, it's negative. So in this big logarithm that I'm going to make with a fraction, that negative sign says 4x goes on the bottom. Okay, like this. Let's take another one. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this log 16. That's a positive sign. Okay, positive log 16. So the 16 goes up top. And then in the last example, uh, I've got minus log 2. So that is another factor of 2 that's going down in the bottom because it's a minus log 2. Okay, and now we can just work all these factors out and figure out what, what this is. We have 10 equals the logarithm of 16 over, well, 4x times 2 is 8x. So that is 10 equals the logarithm of uh, 16 over 8 is 2. So we have logarithm of 2 over x. Okay, And now we've got a logarithm on one side. It's about as simple as it can get and a number on the other. So I'm going to change this to exponential form. Remember what log is. When there's no base, it means log 10. Did I start out with log 10 in this one? Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is log base 10. 2 over x equals 10. What that means is, if I rewrite it, that means 10 to the 10th power. That's a little inconvenient. Uh, it's a huge number, but we get this equation. And now you can just rewrite this using basic rules of algebra. Multiply each side by x. Divide each side by 10 to the 10th power. Okay, so here's your answer. It's going to be a pretty small number, but that's the solution.